Ready to see what's in your chewy box, puppy? You ready to see what's in here? Hey, we have got a chewy box in right now. And I asked on my Instagram if you all would be interested in seeing some monthly chewy unboxings and vlogs. And I think it was like 79% said yes. So, it's kind of later in the evening right now, but I just got the box in and uh, there's several things in here. Chewy was having a big sale on a lot of things that I use for the dogs and new things that I wanted to try out for them. And as you can see, they're ready to open it. So, let's crack this thing open. If you aren't familiar with Chewy, basically it is a pet website and you can order all of your pet supplies and they ship straight to... Uh, your home and you can do an auto ship where you have for example dog food shipped every three weeks every two weeks every Every week even if you may need dog food every week uh, you can schedule it to arrive um, You know on whatever date that you want and that goes for Basically any other product on our website and we love using Chewy because I don't have to go to the store and literally lug all this stuff out of the store into my car and then back into the house it's literally just delivered right to me and i can crack it open and the doggos can enjoy whatever we get for the month so i'm gonna finish opening this and uh show you what we got okay so not only did i get things for the dogs i got stuff for margo and that's the first thing that i see here uh, a big bag of cat food for Margo. This is the American Journey brand. I've never used this uh, brand before when it comes to food. I do use American Journey salmon oil for the dogs and it works really well. Makes their coat super shiny, keeps them from shedding as much. So uh, I wanted to try this brand out because they actually had a sale on the cat food. It was 50% off your first bag and this is a 12 pound bag. Um, I don't know if my receipt is in here. It's probably at the bottom but I think all in all this cat food ended up being like 12 or 13 bucks and it is a grain free cat food. Uh, so I just thought I'd try it out see how Margo liked it. Uh, we also have another stray coming around right now. If you guys have been following me on my Instagram stories, I've named him Neville. Uh, Will is like, we are not keeping this cat, but he's so cute and he's so friendly. And so Neville might be trying out the American Journey cat food as well. But I got the grain-free duck recipe. Uh, so we will see how this goes. So next up, keeping with the American Journey theme, the American Journey grain-free oven-baked dog treats were buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. And uh, these were pretty big bags too. Uh, I think these are the 16-ounce yep, bags. And they were, for one bag, I think it was $4.99. So five bucks, about $2.50 a piece if you break it down. And I got the lamb recipe and the turkey recipe. And I just like to have treats, obviously, for the dogs hanging around, especially when uh, they go out and use the bathroom and come straight back in. They automatically get a treat. So uh, really excited to see if they enjoy these. I know that they're probably going to enjoy them. There's very few things that these dogs will turn down. Uh, it says that there's no corn, wheat, or soy in these treats. So this is the dog's food. Uh, we feed Taste of the Wild. It is just the brand that I have always fed Ollie from the time that we, we had him. We fed Taste of the Wild, a uh, high prairie puppy, and then obviously when he became uh, an adult dog, we switched to the adult formula. Uh, I have only, Taste of the Wild has several different recipes or flavors. I've only fed two. I've fed High Prairie Canine and the uh, Sierra Mountain Canine, which is what we have right here. Uh, I feel like the dogs got really tired of the uh, High Prairie Canine one, so I switched them to this and they really seem to be enjoying it. It's a grain-free uh, food as well, and this one is a uh, roasted lamb flavor and they really seem to enjoy it so uh this is always on auto ship i have their food shipped every three weeks they literally run out on the third week 
just clockwork so i got that narrowed down and uh yeah the dog food comes to the doorstep every three weeks we don't have to worry about going and uh getting it from you know the pet store are you just so excited to get into this box you just you can't contain yourself is that what's going on okay next up we have the american journey salmon oil this is what uh, I give them on their food daily. I just do a quick squeeze over their food and uh, salmon oil is just really great for their coat and just great for their overall health. Any fish oil in general is, but uh, I just find this one to be really convenient because it's in, you know, the squeeze bottle and this generally lasts them at least a month and a half. Sometimes I can stretch it to two months uh, and this was 10% off and I think an extra 5% on auto ship so I went ahead and this is normally on our auto, auto ship anyways I just have it scheduled for every uh, two months so that was a necessity that they were almost out of this is a newbie product and this was also something that I got that was on sale and it's the Dr. Lyons hip and joint support supplement uh, so this is basically for the dog's joints and Puff is obviously older than Ollie and she, uh, you know, wasn't always taken care of uh, being where she came from and I just thought this would be really great to incorporate into their diet. I've been meaning to try and find them a hip and joint supplement but I just really didn't know where to start and this Dr. Lyons brand had really good reviews and not only that it was 50% off your first bag. So I got this bag of 90 supplements for ten dollars uh, and so I'm really excited to uh, you know see if this works for them so this is another Margot product and it's the Feely Way or Feli Way uh, cat wipes and this is basically a calming wipe and the way I understand it is that it basically mimics the pheromones that they release when they rub up against like your furniture or anything when they feel really comfortable. They will release a scent or a pheromone and that uh, ultimately, you know, lingers behind and they smell it and they feel like they're in a comfortable place. So these are really good for traveling. If you uh, have a cat that has really bad anxiety when you take it to the vet or if you have to travel with it, uh, you can wipe your carrier down or the area that you're gonna be in with these wipes and it's supposed to calm them. Uh, anytime I've taken Margo to the vet, the vets, uh, this is how I discovered about this product. The vets um, had these wipes. They also make a spray and pads that you can put in their carriers that just have the scent naturally in them. And I got these because we're going to be moving soon and I thought if I can, uh, you know, wipe down underneath maybe our furniture and just certain spots in the house with these wipes, it might make her feel, you know, more comfortable and like it's her actual home because uh, we are going to have to keep her inside for a while uh, so she can get used to her new environment. So these were on sale. Um, they were originally $13 and they were $9 for uh, 12 wipes. So hoping that these work out. Uh, regardless, I will use them when we go to the vet. <laughs> And last but not least, we have a variety pack of greenies. These are dental treats and these are very popular. I feel like a lot of people use these, but we have never tried the greenies. And recently, Ollie went for his yearly checkup and the vet had mentioned that he's starting to get a little bit of plaque buildup. I use a toothbrush and dog toothpaste on both of the dogs. Puff's teeth are not in great condition, obviously, when we adopted her. She just was not uh, taken care of prior to us having her. And so her teeth, um, that's where her teeth just aren't in great condition. But Ollie has a little bit of plaque buildup and the vet suggested greenies. He said that they actually do work. And the reviews that I read on Chewy's website, these had great reviews. A lot of people said that they saw immediate improvement, not only plaque buildup on their dog's teeth, but also dog breath. And both of these dogs have rank breath. It is awful. Um, so I got the fresh, the fresh scent and the blueberry scent. And I got the large ones, obviously, for dogs 50 to 100 pounds. And there are 24 treats in here. These were 10% off and then 5% off if you added them to auto ship. So obviously I added these to auto ship. I'm hoping that they work. 
and I'm excited to start incorporating them into, uh, oh, actually this comes with three flavors. I didn't realize that. Fresh, original, and blueberry. So yeah, got three flavors in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to incorporate these into, uh, you know, the daily mix. Give them one a day. The vet said one a day or one every other day. So we'll see how it goes and hopefully they like these. Sorry, we're in the beauty room. That's why I've got stuff everywhere. But okay, here you go. You want one? There you go. Take off with it. It's a hit. Come on, Ollie. Now go brush those teefers. We are here at the house. They got it painted today. And we love it. We were really scared about the color because we changed it last minute. And I'm a big fan. I think Will is too. It makes me feel really confident now <laughs> that the house is gonna, the color scheme's gonna come together a little bit more than what we thought. So this is Sherwin Williams Stucco. That's what the color is called. And the trim is just a, I don't know, a white color by Sherwin Williams, the people who painted they the house. They haven't cut. Oh, they haven't done the trim yet? No. Oh yeah, I see. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, originally we had picked out a color called City Light, and it was like a Lowe's official color by Sherwin, but it just wasn't enough of an off-white to like offset the trim of the house. So yeah, I'm loving it. They've still got one more coat to do, but this is it. So let's see what they've got done inside. They've got the garage all cleaned up. Oh look, here's all the paint samples. <laughs> There are just a few of the paint samples I picked out for the siding. I've got like four more in the back of my vehicle, but yeah, here's the garage. Nice little setup going on here. I didn't know that they were gonna build a big deck like this. I actually just thought it was gonna be steps leading up to the house, but I'm glad that they, uh... do you think it would be good to put the dog food out here? Like right here? <laughs> Like do a canister, but I don't know though. Just coming in and out to refill their food throughout the day, right here. Yeah, that'd be exhausting. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just Bad idea. Okay. No, I'm oh, you really want to do it out here? No, I'm being very sarcastic. Okay. Well. Hey, I don't know. We'll get a we'll get a feel for it. Once, hey. So this is where I was talking about doing one of those mudroom inserts or storage units. I found one on Wayfair. Is that like a shelf and it's like. And stuff? Dang it. Here, I've got to get this log together. Oh, hold the camera. Oh. You vlog for a change. I'm not a very good vlogger. Let me be, let me be in these vlogs. <laughs> okay, so the thing, it's like a base down here and it's a bench, but the bench you can lift up and there's storage in it. So we can put shoes and things like that. And then there's also in the one that I want, it's got pull out drawers. So gotcha storage down here and then it comes like all the way up and there's coat hangers things of that nature i like it so that's where the mudroom thing is going to go look they've already put was that here last time yeah this, the doorway well i was here yesterday so okay. <laughs> uh closet right here and laundry room with the lovely window i love the window and the laundry room <laughs> All, I feel like not a lot of floor plans have windows in there. Um, what? I don't know. They, well, the ones that I looked at didn't have windows in the laundry room, and I like it. Okay, so this is what I was talking about um, doing a laundry bar. Yeah, I all like the way that. Across here. I so, like, just putting in a bar. I mean, it does, actually doesn't even have to be all the way across, probably to like right here or something. And then do like some hampers or something right there. Because if we do the pocket door. I was about to say, this is where we want a pocket door. Yeah, right? if we do the pocket door right here, we won't have to worry about open, opening and closing the door. So, yeah, potential pocket door going in right here just to save some space in the laundry room. Yeah, one pocket door and then, let's see. This pantry door is going to be like a frosted, just like a frosted glass door. And then, master, they really did clean up a lot in here. I know. How did that trash melt? So yeah, if you're thinking the bed, Will wants the bed to go right here, but 
The dilemma of that with me is that the TV is going to be offset. So, show them right here where the TV is going to be. I don't think that the TV should be the focus of the room. Well, I so. know, but it's just going to be weird. I don't think so. And then, so like, uh, as far as the door here, this is going to be a pocket door as well? I don't know. I don't know. Would we be able to? No, you were talking about the barn door type thing. Yeah. That would actually work because it would just go. Possibly a barn door right here. I don't really know. The barn doors are a little bit more expensive than the regular doors. Like, probably double, actually. Double. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, double what all the other doors are going to cost in the house. So, so we're going to get thrifty, okay. We'll just have to see with that. Um, the closet, I think we're going to do a mirrored door right here just to have, I feel like you can't have too many full length mirrors. I can't believe they put a wall right there. Why? I just didn't, I guess that makes sense. You didn't think that there was going to be? I guess I thought it was going to be on the... The faucet on the wall, and then that was going to be open ish. You're okay. What you're walking with the camera tilted like this? Hey, they'll be all right. <laughs> um, yeah, she said that they had to do the wall to put the plumbing in right here. Yeah, so and then the faucet or the faucet, the uh, Coffee. coffee tub is gonna go right here. And we already had to reorder the faucet for that because Pat, the one that we ordered, wouldn't fit. Or something about it wouldn't fit right here. I don't really know. Same man to me. <laughs> okay, we're trying to decide where to put the shiplap wall. Uh, we were thinking this wall right here, but our dilemma runs into the uh, beams or the uh, vault, the vault right there. We just kind of think it would look a little weird doing this wall and then not the rest of the vault up there. So, Will has brought it upon himself to make a suggestion. And his suggestion is to just make the entire laundry room shiplap, which I'm a fan of. Did I say the entire laundry room? Yeah. Did I say that? I didn't say that. Well, what are you? What were you saying? I was just saying this wall. One wall? You want all of them? I mean... Kind of. Really? And what was your selling point for reselling the house? <laughs> um, it'd be like a little hidden Easter egg that walk in the laundry room like, oh, shiplap. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> shiplap, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he would. And I would he, say, yeah, that was my idea. Yeah, he was like, uh, yeah, just think for resale value, this laundry room doing shiplap, just taking the potential buyers through and being like, and a lovely shiplap wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But yeah, I mean, I just, because look, Cause, like, if we're going to. This is in a big room, and like, if it's all shiplap, would that not like make your head spin? No. Or? No, yeah. I'm pro shiplap everywhere, man. Right. Chip and Joe all the way. Okay. So living space, we didn't run through the living space here. Up here is all of the living area where the couch, furniture, TV, all of that fun stuff is gonna go. And then on the opposite side of the house, we've got where the kitchen is, nice little L-shaped kitchen. The island is gonna be, I'm assuming, where they've left this thing. What? Yeah, I guess that's where the island's gonna go. I don't know. Look, they've got the lights centered out here, so the island's probably gonna go a little further out. Um, so, island in this vicinity, sink over there, uh, stove is gonna be right here, refrigerator is gonna be over here. Then we've got my beautiful Dutch door. Um, I don't think I've showed you guys the Dutch door. So. Yeah, nice little Dutch door here. Keep it open in the summertime so fresh air can come in. I'm super stoked about that. I guess they're putting this piece of wood in here to lock it. I don't know why that's in there. Uh, and this is gonna be, the rest of this is gonna be the dining space. What do you think? I like it. And then of course, this room is gonna be um, my office space. And then we've got a nice little linen closet here, guest bathroom, and another linen closet. And then this is going to be Will's 
uh, space. So yeah, that's the progress on the old house as of right now. All right, guys, I think we are signing off for the evening. I hope you enjoyed the Chewy haul and also the little tour and update of the house. Um, yeah, I think that explains how they like the greenies. So let's hope that makes your breath better. All right, I'm gonna get this vlog edited and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.